Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a feature that Lumion Legacy desperately needs to add to the game. In this video, we're also going to be talking about a statement from T Bradham on this issue and more. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit on that like and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. All right, so this issue is actually something that's been on my mind for a long, long time now, and you know, I just thought now's the perfect time to actually answer it because again, we do have something from T Bradham on this issue. But again, let's get into the first thing that I want to talk about, and that is of course going to be Lumion Legacy being on other devices. Now, of course, we have things like of course mobile you know mobile is a big 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 you know kind of player account that adds to Lumion legacy a lot of people play on mobile and again it does contribute a large majority of their players but lucky hd why is that why do a bunch of mobile players make up Lumion legacy well you got to think about it like this okay Lumion legacy is a creature catching game i want you to name one app on the app store right now you know as popular as i'm not going to say Lumion legacy is as popular as pokemon but a decently popular game that is a kind of creature catching game like Lumion legacy is exactly Pokemon in itself, you know, it's just mainly a console game, okay? It's mainly just something that they put out on the Switch. They don't expand to anything else. They don't even have, like, a PC version of Pokemon, which I think that they should do, but that's besides the point. You gotta realize that Lumion Legacy is that creature catching game that is on the App Store and that people can go and play. And this actually ties into the thing that I'm about to talk about later. But let's also talk about some things that you can play Lumion Legacy on as well. VR headsets, which I definitely think that they need to actually optimize because VR Lumion Legacy, you guys have seen that in the past. It's not too pretty, okay? It's definitely very, very weird. So now I actually want to get into the main focus of this video. We're already getting into it, and that is, of course, going to be Lumion Legacy coming to the Xbox. Now, here's the thing. You might be like, well, Lucky HD, why would Lumion Legacy become a standalone Xbox game? And here's the thing, guys. Roblox is already on the Xbox, but of course, as developers need to actually optimize their games to be Xbox games or Xbox compatible, Lumion Legacy has not really done that, okay? They haven't really, you know, kind of made a fully-fledged working like console xbox lumen legacy on roblox okay it's just it just doesn't exist yet and to me personally i think that they're missing out okay i really do think that they're missing out on this giant opportunity and you even have things like temtem okay temtem is actually another creature catching game not on roblox i think it's actually originated on steam if i'm not mistaken and why do i bring this up well temtem is actually trying to become a standalone xbox game as well lumen legacy you know it's kind of you know bound to roblox but, you know, with Lumion Legacy, of course, being on Roblox, that gives it a big advantage, okay? Of course, Roblox, you know, you have all these games and stuff, and people can actually discover that, hey, there's a new creature catching game on Xbox, on Roblox, let me play that. And it is going to make Lumion Legacy's player count go up really, really, really fast, okay? Lumion Legacy is going to get a lot of players from this entire thing, because again, guys, Xbox doesn't have a single creature catching game on the console. And me personally, I think this is where Lumion Legacy could come in and, of course, bring an entire new audience audience to their game, again, increasing their player count. And recently, I made a tweet about this saying that Lumion Legacy needs to expand into Xbox territory. Xbox doesn't have a single good creature capturing game, let alone any. By filling this market, tons of new players will come to the game, increasing its popularity. And I tagged T-Rodham and Lando in the tweet below, and then, of course, T-Rodham hit me with a response by saying the following, working on it slowly in between everything else, it will happen eventually. So that basically confirms that we are going to be, in fact, getting Lumion Legacy on the Xbox, or, you know, Lumion Legacy see on roblox on the xbox if that makes sense basically xbox support for lumion legacy okay you could just call it that and this is actually really good news because again guys like i've been saying throughout this entire video there's no good creature capturing games okay there's nothing good on xbox so having something like this come to the console would be amazing and again guys would bring a ton of new players to the game now i will say it would be definitely very interesting seeing all the new players come to the game and be like you know not able to talk because i don't think you're able to talk on xbox I don't think so. Correct me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But it definitely would be interesting to see a bunch of people just walking around, of course, you know, just not being able to type anything. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts about this entire thing down in the comments below. Do you guys think that Lumion Legacy should come on Xbox? Also, do you have an Xbox? Would you guys play Lumion Legacy on an Xbox? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go to the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.